Good morning, everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to try out a metal spatula. I bought a couple of larger ones um, and I tried out a little test piece and I really liked the way that it turned out. I didn't film it um, and it's currently drying right now, but it looks kind of interesting. I wanted to just move the paint around with my spatula to try out something different and just see how it looks. So this is just an experiment. Um, I just wanted to see if introducing some kind of tool like this, I do use palette knives a lot, just smoothing my base coats out, but I haven't used it as a tool to see how it would blend paint. Um, so I wanna try that out today. So I have uh, four different colors. I've used these quite a bit before. I have white, dark blue, uh, magenta, and light blue. Um, and I just have them all mixed with, um, I actually mixed my pouring mediums. I didn't really want a lot of cells, but I kind of wanted to see if I could create a few. So I have both Sargent Art Gloss Medium and Floetrol. Um, and I have about one part of each of those to one part paint. And then I just added some water. I did keep my paint a little bit thicker, um, kind of like I do for dips, so that it won't move too much while it's drying. But all I'm gonna do is just start pouring my paint on my canvas and then um, use my spatula to move it around and then tilt quite a bit. Um, I did this, like I said, I did this on a test piece and it really blended the paint nicely. Um, and I liked the way that it turned out. So I just wanna see on a larger surface how this will look. I'm working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. My last one was a little bit smaller. It was just a 16 inch circle. And I think I'll have plenty of paint because I am going to be tilting quite a bit. But I want more of this dark blue. And right now, like I said, I'm just kind of testing this out. I don't really have a lot of um, specific composition in mind but I'm just gonna take my spatula, just a nice fat one. I think it's like two and a half inches wide. Um, I also got a smaller one, um, but I just, I love the way that the paint all blends in here. And then when I was tilting out my test piece, um, I, I just had some really beautiful areas of color. So I'm just gonna scrape it off and that'll tilt in. I kinda wanna pull this around and I do I kind of want to leave some negative space so I'm gonna pour some white over here and just see what happens I have quite a bit of white over here too just smooth it out but once I really started tilting it was quite interesting it a little bit. It was almost like a geode style without doing it in the pouring container that I normally use. But I'm just going to swirl it a little bit. A lot of blue on there. I might add a little bit more pink and swipe again. I guess you could almost look at it as like a swipe just with some different tools. Oh, I really like this pink in here. So I'm going to tilt that down. And I'll lay it down so that you can see it again. So this area I'm really liking. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more in here and then swipe and tilt again. Just a little bit of that light blue. I think these large palette knives would also be good for swiping if you want to get cells. Um, if you use silicone in your pieces or if you um, swipe with another color. It's a nice, it's, I, it's a really nice tool. I'm liking it so far. Oh, I like that magenta and the blue mixing together. Wow. 
I do like that. I think uh, this could be really interesting to create um, different texture styles, like I said, in this area. This really reminds me of my some of my geode style pours. Um, there are some striations in there just from those colors that I previously had from that first pour. Uh, and it just gives you a fun, different design. That magenta and the dark blue almost create a purple in some areas, um, and then also in that light blue. So that's kind of neat to do something different. I really like this corner. I'm not the biggest fan of this chunk of pink, but I also don't want to tilt off this area. So I could try and swipe again, but I really don't want to keep using up paint when I don't need to. But I hope you guys liked this video. It was kind of fun to try something new just for swiping some colors and moving them across my canvas a little bit. Um, I definitely think this has potential if I keep on practicing and figuring out um, how I want to move my colors and more specific compositions of colors and then tilting it all out. It gets um, some really nice looking areas in here. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.